Welcome back to our channel. I'll show you how to block strange numbers on your Android device in different ways. We'll start by looking at the ways that most Android phones already have to stop calls. But what about those scammers who keep calling and still manage to get around the call blocking features? Don't worry, we can help with that. We'll show you some third-party apps that are made to stop annoying calls and texts. This function is also good if you give your child a phone. He will be safer this way. We all know how annoying it is to get calls and texts from unknown sources that we don't want. But don't worry, because this final guide will show you how to block unknown numbers on your Android device. First, let's look at the ways that most Android phones already have to stop calls. It's a good way to block calls you don't want and keep your peace of mind. Please remember that this option is how it looks on the original version Android. If you have a gadget that runs a modified version of Android, these settings may be a little different. But if you look at how it looks on the stock version, you might be able to figure out how to set it up on your device, since most of them have a similar choice. Open the phone app. Tap on contacts or recent calls. You should have a search option like this. Tap on the three dots menu. Tap settings. On the top, you have the option caller ID and spam. Tap it. Activate C caller and spam ID. Also, you can activate the option filter spam calls. How is it said in the text below? Google will attempt to show you useful information when you make or receive a call, such as a name for a number not in your contacts or a warning when an incoming call is suspected to be spam. Please remember this will not block unknown numbers, but it will give you some info about those numbers. But how can you not receive any phone calls from people that are not in your contacts? Tap on the back arrow. Go to blocked numbers. On other phones, this option is called block list or call rejection. Tap on it, and you'll be presented with a list of blocking options. Of course, you can add a number to the list of numbers you want to block by tapping Add Number, or something similar. Then, you can either type in the number you don't want to hear from or choose it from your call log or contacts. After you add the number, calls from that source will be stopped and won't bother you anymore. Usually in this section, you should find an option like this. The Unknown Choice blocks calls from people you don't know. People who call you but you don't know who they are are unidentified callers. If you turn this setting on, you should be able to block unknown numbers. But what if the choices that are already there aren't enough? Thanks to the Play Store, there are a lot of third-party apps with extra features that can help you stop unwanted calls and texts. Let's look at a few of the most well-known ones. For blocking unknown numbers, the apps TrueCaller, Haya, Spam Blocker and Caller ID, and Mr. Number come highly suggested. They offer improved protection against spam, caller ID, and even spam reporting by the community. Just get one of these apps from the Play Store, install it, and then set it up by following the on-screen directions. Let's install the TrueCaller app. First, on your Android, open the Google Play Store. You can find it on your home screen or in the Apps drawer. Tap on the triangle-shaped icon that looks like a colored shopping bag. Next, type TrueCaller. Caller ID and block into the search bar at the top of the screen and hit the search button. The TrueCaller app should be one of the first ones to show up. Tap on it to go to the page for the app. Read the app's introduction, look at what people have said about it, and check out what it can do. Tap the install button when you're ready. Your device will now start to download and run the app. Depending on how fast your internet is, this may take a few minutes. Once the download is done, Tap the Open button or find the TrueCaller app icon on your home screen or in your app drawer and tap it to open the app. TrueCaller will walk you through a quick setup process the first time you open the app. Follow the on-screen steps to give the app the permissions it needs to work, such as access to your contacts and call logs. Tap Get Started. To use TrueCaller you need to set up it as your default caller. Tap TrueCaller and after that tap Set as Default. You need to allow permission to TrueCaller to access your info. Tap Continue. On all dialogues tap Allow. This will allow TrueCaller access to your contacts and call logs to enable the app's features. You need to verify your number. Write it and tap Verify My Number. TrueCaller will either call you or send an SMS to check your phone. Tap Confirm. Tap I Agree. Your number is verified. You can now create your profile. To skip all boring steps log in with Google. If you want to use a different name from your Google account, you can do that by tapping Type Name Manually, but I will use the Google account. Select the Google account from the list.
You can edit your info here. After you finish tap continue. In this step activate what option you want and then tap continue. Now check the presentation from Truecaller. I will just move faster so this video will not take too much. You can also use Truecaller as your default SMS app. Select if you want to do this. I suggest this because this way you will be protected also by spam SMS messages. Enable Truecaller Backup. Tap Backup Now. Select your Google account. Tap Allow so that Truecaller can back up your data on your Google Drive account. You can use the premium version of the app or try the free version. I will tap, not now. To block unknown numbers on Android with Truecaller tap on the three dots menu from the top. Tap settings. Tap calling. On the bottom, you will find the option block. Tap on it. Here we have some options that we need to enable. What are these options? Block top spammers. Truecaller maintains a constantly updated database of reported spam numbers. By activating this option, you can automatically block calls from the top reported spam numbers. Block hidden numbers. Enabling this option allows you to automatically block calls from hidden or private numbers. It helps you avoid calls from unknown or anonymous sources. Block numbers from foreign countries. This option lets you block calls originating from international numbers. It helps prevent unnecessary international calls or potential scams. This option is best to be activated if you do not receive calls from other countries. Block numbers not in the phone book. Enabling this option allows you to automatically block calls that you do not know and you do not have it added as a contact on your phone. You can turn on all of these choices or just the ones you like best. And that's it. These are the ways the Truecaller app lets you block calls. By using these features, you can stop annoying calls and texts from getting through, giving you a more peaceful and smooth mobile experience. With these tips and tricks, you can take back control of your Android device and stop getting calls and texts that you don't want. Don't forget to subscribe to our station to get more tutorials and tips for Android. Click that bell to stay up to date on the newest movies. Thanks for watching, and good luck with blocking.